I'm back and better than ever. I don't know if I want to title this video, does color correcting actually work? Or if I should do more of a how to color correct. I want to do a half side of my face comparison. So one half do color correcting, the other half not, and see if color correcting actually makes a difference. Color correcting has a lot to do with the color theory, the color wheel, what color contradicts another color. If you look at the color wheel, the color across from the other color is the contradicting color. So for example, you can see that red is the contradicting color to green. This is a concept of color correcting. You want to contradict some of the colors that are on your face. So for example, some of my red acne spots, I would then want to color correct with a green color corrector. I have really dark under eyes that are like a purple blue and the contradicting color to that for my skin tone would be a yellow peachy shade. Okay, so this is a prime example of seeing an Instagram video of someone doing this themselves and you, the viewer, thinking, oh, because they're doing it, that means it works and that I should do it too. No, no, please, no, stop with the red lipstick. You do not need it. It is so unnecessary and it just clogs up your pores. It makes for a not so pretty makeup application. The only reason why someone should be using red lipstick is if they have naturally very dark skin. So because they are darker in skin tone, they naturally have darker eyes, a darker smile line, and that is why they would use a darker shade like a red lipstick. But to all my other light skin to tan beauty babes out there, just stop. Don't. Just don't do the red lipstick. It's not going to be a thing. It's not going to be a trend. Just stop. I feel like Regina George right now when she tells Gretchen that fetch isn't going to be a thing. <laughs> now that we got the red lipstick rant out of the way, let's actually talk about how to correctly color correct. You can color correct with an actual color correcting palette. I have one color correcting palette just because I don't color correct that often with an actual wheel. But this is one I do have. It is by Hard Candy. Some brands sell concealers that are color correcting concealers. So for instance, I know LA Girl, NYX Cosmetics, they sell a green concealer. What I usually use to color correct my dark circle is a darker peachy concealer shade. I have some examples for you. NYX actually has a dark circle corrector. They have two or three shades in this and I have the fair shade. This does have a slight peach undertone. Remember, the lighter skin you are, the lighter you go even for color correcting. So this is still very light. It just has a more peachy undertone to cancel out the blueness. But more often than not, I use one of these concealers. This is the NYX HD Concealer. This is in the shade 03. I use this because it tends to be more of a peachy shade on my skin. I would never actually use this as a concealer shade. And then I use Makeup Revolutions Conceal and Define Concealer. I have this in the shade C9. Now my actual shade in this is C1 or C3. But to color correct, I do use color C9 because it is darker, but it definitely has that peachy undertone. For this video, I'm just gonna go ahead and stick to this color wheel. Let's go ahead and color correct this side of my face just because I do have more prominent pimples and redness on this side, so I wanna see if this green really cancels them out. You can definitely just go in with your finger and pat some product on. I am more of a brush type of person though, so I'm gonna go in with a brush. I am taking the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush, but I love to use this for creams, concealers under my eyes, just because it is a fat, dense brush. It works out for me that way. So I'm gonna go right into that peach shade and dabble in there. I don't need a lot. Less is more when it comes to color correcting. Try to get in that inner corner because that does contribute a lot to my dark circles is that little inner nose socket right here. Take this Eagle Tools Angled Foundation Brush. Take that green and I'm just stippling in there. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna stipple this on my cheeks. I'm gonna do half of my nose because my nose tends to get red. And my nose crease. 
gonna take the very tip of the brush, go over my pimples. I'm just gonna go over my whole chin. <laughs> my chin is very red. Not that much product on the brush. I'm now gonna try to just smooth this out more. I'm gonna sheer it out. Purple pink shades brighten up areas of your face. Generally wanna put this where you would put a lightening, brightening concealer. What you could do under your eyes, you could do the center of your face. I am just gonna put this right here in the center of my forehead. I'm trying to stick to the halfway mark here. Yellow shades are usually used to contradict mild redness, but I rarely use it because I mean that's what the green is for. I just use the green and sheer it out. I'm taking my Tarte Foundsealer foundation. This is not a full coverage foundation, so I wanna see just how much it does cover the color correcting side. And this has been my go-to foundation, so I just wanna see how it works over color correcting. All right, here it goes. Some down on my neck. I generally use a pump for half of my face taking a small buffer brush and I am just patting this in. I'm still sticking to one half of my face first just because I wanna see what happens to this side. I personally cannot see any of the color correcting underneath and again, this is not a full coverage foundation. I mean, it looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and do this side of the face so we can compare. That's a full pump, the same amount I use on the other half of my face. getting a little surprised. My cheek looks red still compared to this side. When I look down, oh, by the way, the brush Duke's bit when he was a puppy, so just ignore it. But when I look down, I see this dark circle is a lot more prominent than this one. These acne spots, I think I'm seeing more so the pimple itself than the redness. But like, for instance, this pimple, is red. I honestly don't see that much of a difference on my forehead from the pink and purple color corrector to brighten up that space. Um, the sides of my nose, <laughs> I know that looks so attractive, but that crease in my nose looks more red compared to this side as well. Wow, that's actually crazy different. Let's do some concealer and see how that looks. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. This is in the shade C1 gonna go like that like I normally do on both sides go right down the middle my nose and chin I usually go right here because I have red spots from old acne I swear the most annoying part of acne is not the acne itself it's when the pimple goes away and then the aftermath of the scarring that is what takes forever to heal I'm going to just pat this in. See if this can take away some of my dark circles and my redness. Okay, so far that looks a lot better. Let's try this side. Take away all of that peach color corrector. Then after concealer, I like to go back in with my foundation brush, just using the excess foundation that's already on the brush and going over these spots again, just to make sure that it's all blended in together and that there's no unblended concealer lines or spots. All right, how are we looking? What do you guys think? Do you see a difference? I don't think it's that big of a difference after a concealer. I just don't think it's like a <gasps> wow difference. It was in the beginning, but then when we added the concealer, it was kind of like, Oh, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my face makeup, powder, bronzer, blush, highlight, all that good stuff. And then after it's all done, we can come back and compare, once again, the finished product. Okay guys, this is the final look. 
let's compare one more time the different halves of my face and see if you can see a difference. Thank you guys for watching and being a part of this experiment. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I really want to know if you guys color correct, how it works for you, what products you use. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.